Today we are at a beautiful park here in New Orleans, and I thought I would invite Amy, Dennis, their dog, Minier, to come out here and show off a few of their tricks and maybe how they taught them. Hey, make sure you like me on Facebook, subscribe, and thumbs up the video. How many tricks or behaviors does your dog know? Tell me in the comments below. Amy, how old is Beignet? Beignet's four. And you've had him since he was a puppy? Yes. The first thing I did was YouTube tricks, and I came across your videos. I just kind of used that as like, my main source with like how to teach beignet. When I saw you guys work together, you were in one of my classes, I was really inspired by how well all of you connect. What I was hoping we would do today is we would cover like maybe three of his best tricks. What's kind of an easy-ish trick that you taught him? One of the first tricks I taught him was roll over. So maybe you can give us a demo of roll over and, and kind of show us what you went through to teach it with him, would that be possible? Yeah, sure. Did you lure him into a rollover? Is that kind of how you taught him this? Because I find that that's usually the easiest way to teach a yeah, rollover. Yeah, that was the only way. So Beignet loves his treats, and so if you just lure him with the treat, that, which is what I did, and kind of nice. have him follow and sniff the treat. I like how you're leaning. I'm trying to like get down to his level, <laughs> eye level. Nice job, roll over. And so that's kind of how you went about teaching mm -hmm. it in the beginning, right? Mm -hmm. Just a basic lure and you would say yeah. roll over at so what point? So once he got like a full turn, then I would say roll over and then he would associate the word with that trick. Can you just be like roll over, just like standing yeah, normal now? Down, roll over. And you can see that's what you've worked up to, just being able to say roll over like that. That's such a stellar example of really fluid communication. What is another trick that you taught him that seems to be a crowd pleaser? Everyone seems to love bang, which is play dead. Why don't you run me through the steps that it took to teach Beignet to play dead? First, I got him to sit. I kind of had to lure him to lay on his side, like that. So cute. And then I said, bang. And, and then, then you would like tell him to stay? Yeah, stay. And then... Bang! And so he stays there until I give him okay to release. Bang! You're dead. Why don't you show us the final version of Play Dead and how it looks? Bang! Yeah, yeah. That is fantastic. I can't wait to see what big trick you have in store for us. You know, I love supporting those who support positive training. PetFlow.com is one of the most innovative companies in the pet world. Set up automatic pet food delivery anywhere on the continental United States. Stop making unnecessary trips to the store when PetFlow can handle it all. Plus, shipping is free on all orders over $49 after all discounts are applied. Choose from hundreds of brands and check out their huge variety of toys, accessories, treats, and more. PetFlow.com is supporting the dog training revolution by offering 15% off of your first purchase. Just enter coupon code ZachGeorge15 when you check out. Visit PetFlow.com slash ZachGeorge today. So what's one of your favorite tricks to do with Beignet? Back up, which is where he's standing on his hind legs and he's back. It takes a lot of muscle memory to do that, right? Yeah, I mean, it didn't take too long, but basically I was like walking towards him and he would naturally have to walk backwards and he just kind of instinctually got on his hind legs and started hopping backwards. I've got to <laughs> see this. Let's get into it. A lot of dogs are very comfortable uh, walking backwards and a lot of dogs are comfortable walking forwards. It really depends on the dog. You're an amazing trainer with Beignet and Beignet is so awesome to watch. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you click thumbs up, like me on Facebook, link in the description, and also make sure you're subscribed. I've got a couple of videos planned for the very near future, one on unwanted jumping and one on unwanted leash pulling. Which of those do you have more interest in seeing? Tell me in the comments below and we'll see you guys in the next one.